Hello, I'm Exisis and uh, welcome back to Terraformers. We're gonna play another quick little game here and uh, I wanna try out this one where we need to explore a little bit. So let's uh, bump the difficulty up a bit. That means we're gonna have really high expectations. And we get extra technologies because of this scenario. We need to spend a total of 900 science and explore 90 locations. All right, so let's get into it and see what we get to start with. All right, so balanced is the one you always get to start with, and and if you won the last scenario, you got at least 25% of the way towards victory. You get two random ones uh, to choose from as well. We'll minimize that one and we'll have a look at where we are. So we've got a water source here. And we've got a tritanium source here. Tritanium is going to be important when we go for science because it allows us to do space projects a little bit easier. And we've got yeah, some resources in uh, these two. So let's see if we can... And what do we have for climate here? So we're at minus two. That the minus sign was a little bit poorly placed there. But the minus two in rain. So we need to get full level three water if we want to get any rainfall here. We've got minus three oxygen. So we're not going to get oxygen here for quite some time. But only minus one temperature. So that one's at least raceable or quite easy to get up to zero or above okay and we have uh, Alex who will give us nitrates with boosts or if we uh, get more nitrates we can breach an unknown aquifer we've got one uh, th this would be an aquifer so we could uh, breach that one but uh, unknown, you want to use him for things a little bit further away. And we can farm for food. Now we need to explore in the beginning of the game. So, And uh, Gustav gives us power. Also a little bit better later on when we don't need to explore quite as much. Getting the extra science points or projects is really good in the beginning though. And increases science production by every seven robots. So I think we will go with uh, Gustav. Uh, applied research could be useful and this one's going to be more useful than the nitrate spe specialization since this one sticks around the entire game so we gain some extra science for using robots all right and we need to select which one we want to start with oh this would be if we want to Band quickly and if we want to kickstart our science and we get some eco homes that we don't get quite as much food and we don't get a any kind of a farm in this one we have a farm in the balanced one I think we will go with the scientific one the uh, research center giving us extra proposed projects and mostly that one I think these two just kickstart the science income and we can use that to trade with as I think we don't need to accumulate it we need to we need to actually spend the science as well I think we'll see if trading actually counts this is a new scenario and I haven't played it before now let's uh, see what we want to name our city. We are in the Borealis Valleys, I think. Can't really see. The city is in the way. But it should be Borealis. Let's get this a nice... I don't know what we want to go with. This was a pretty... Let's go with red. Okay, so we have nothing special here. This is quite usual. We have two locations with 
and that hub uh, we can have hubs in. So we can have a science hub, a food hub, and a, a living quarters. I think that would be the most useful way to put this up. And then we got three slots for other things. So we want to place our headquarters in one of these. I think we'll go with the uh, these ones towards the rim there. I'm going to go with this one for the university there and we'll put the laboratory there and then we've got the research center we don't have the resources so yeah we need loads of science for that one so we'll hang on a bit with that and we can't use this one on turn one because you don't get to choose any cards on turn one and we want to start question is if we want to start off our water first or try to, it doesn't really matter, we get some science from here. Uh, go up there and there uh, was a, a small water mine, so one water per turn. We can could extract it for some oceans. I think we will put the mine there, I think the water per turn will help us more. So we'll try to speed it up a bit, little bit this playthrough. We will pick up the tuber farm and we will go exploring down here. So we got some nitrates. We need to collect enough nitrates to put the tuber farm down, obviously. Let's keep going. Actually, the greenhouse farm might be a good one here too, but I do think we go with the Tritium thermogenerator, maybe. That one was a little bit harder. We have a large hint of nitrates down there. Let's go down and check them and hope for a big pile. Got five of them. We need two more so we can explore this one or this one next turn. And do we want to? We can't build any of those. Which research card do we want now? Gonna be. Yeah, we want probably this one we need the, to start getting our food income so we can uh, actually expand out to these mines all right so we got our trade route and we got another farm habitation module costs loads of food and an additional laboratory let's get that one down we can no other way around we want to import Food and export science. It'll take us a little bit longer until we get the research center, but we need that food to be able to put down the eco homes. All right, let's go there. I've got the two nitrates. I put the. We'll use this as a farming, uh, and try to get one of the farming expansion buildings up there. And now we need to collect enough resources for this laboratory, I think. While we're waiting for... And now we probably want to stop exporting that. We can export some... We can probably export some of our tritanium and we will import water instead. To get this uh, greenhouse farm out. It'll be faster than waiting for the expansion. And then we could expand down here. We've used those skills, let's go. We can probably pick the titanium here. I haven't seen a titanium mine anywhere yet. We have a hospital, that would be a decent pick. Yeah, we don't want the resonance station. Let's uh, pick up the hospital. You can always recycle any ones of these in the event we want to. Now we don't have a titanium mine anywhere that we can see. We've got a nitrates mine up there. We do need some silicates and nitrates for the research lab. We don't have any, any place where we can get both, I think. And they all cost. Uh, let's pick this one up. 
puts us a little bit closer to the... Oh, now we got some food. Perfect. Since we got the food, we'll put down the eco homes. It's worth delaying the research center there by a bit. And now we want to... Do we want the water or do we want the Tritanium first? I think we will go with Tritanium since we're exporting that one. Let's pop up the Tritanium mine. And we're going to get enough water for the Greenhouse Farm next turn. Alright, so let's pick up the titanium so we can build our mines. Turn off there. Then we get some reacher satellites. Now the robot hub would be good as well. Since we've got the uh, Gustav's here robot specialization. Let's first pop down and build the greenhouse farm. And we want to... Do we want to explore or do we want to use this one? Now we're going to pick up the robot hub. I think I'm tempted for the tuber farm and the habitation module. But I think the robot hub is the better one here. Then we can expand down towards the nitrates there and up towards the water here. Or get out here to get one of the... We could get some windmills or something to put solar panels. These are three, so we want to use it down here somewhere. We need silicates and we need nitrates. Let's explore up here. No, that's a storm. Oh, it's a shame. Let's go here for the extra science then. Lots of nitrates. Rich soil. We can build an agricultural complex. That's good. And it's just two blocks away. And that means we want to get this uh, aquifer online as soon as possible. And doing okay there, right now we can go down here for some silicates and a lava tube. Wanna, we need to build a dam here. And this is a nice area. Hellas is. Minus three in rain, so we're not going to get any water there anytime soon. Good temperature and decent enough oxygen level there. And the lava tube, it's a lot of clearing out to do. We've got a fertile soil, We've got a very good central location here. So I think this is a very good expansion spot. At least it looks like so, and we've got the rich soil here for the agricultural complex. Alright, so we want to pop down our robots. And they go down in one of these extra slots down here. And we'll expand up to the water and we will build a mine there. So we can start saving up for this uh, agricultural complex. And for that end it's probably worth it to keep uh, importing the water. We don't have the... Maybe we should be importing the food instead. We need 30 food to be able to get down here. And the water... We'll probably find some water along the way too. Let's uh, switch that over to import food. It'll be a faster expansion. And we'll save this one for a little bit. That's all we can do now. Alright, so and this might be a good turn to take this. I'm tempted on the tritium thermal generator since we have the uh, resources to put it down. I only have two slots here, and we want the uh, research center to go down into one of them. See if we have any more. We got some, yeah, we've got a big silicate mine over here. That's uh, far away. We 
can take this one instead. We only need two. And we got two there as well. Perfect. And we've got plenty of time to actually explore these and try to use the satellites to pick these off since they are quite far away so we don't waste our power. And that means we've got enough for the laboratory. That's an addition of two science. So we can start putting that in. And we wanted to see science spent. But if we try to export, let's do it this way, we'll export one and see if that counts towards because we're not using anything else. Just to see where we're actually getting our points from. Yeah, we need to pick one and we did explore with him, so let's pick up the thermal generator and we will put it down. Doesn't really matter where, we'll put it there. And let's go to the next turn. Alright, so we've got another greenhouse farm, another robot hub. Robot hub would be very useful down here. But we're a few turns off that. Marsha... Is, uh, we're not going to be able to put that down for any time soon because we need that for our expansion. And getting extra food of course would be very nice but we need that water for the expansion anyway. Let's take the robot hub so when we do expand we can quickly grab some extra slots there. And now we're making some power as well. And we want to, we could use Gustav to make some power. But I still think exploring is the more important thing to do here. So we want science and we need, we're going to get the tritium soon enough. We need science. And we actually need some titanium as well. We've got the big titanium mine there, might be worth going to explore that one. get a little bit of titanium and some nitrates we don't need either either really right now yeah, let's go grab them there's resources that we don't use for anything else mineral cave we can either protect it for some extra support per turn or put in a very big titanium mine or a large titanium mine I'd say the mine is probably the better one here. Cost 20 support because it is a mineral cave though. Okay, so we get two research projects this time. And these obviously need a lot of... We get one power and one titanium for each robot. And these are permanent boosts. Destroying rocks costs less. We've got a lot of rocks to destroy. Gain water per level you increase. Oh, income. So this one gives you a one-time boost of one power and one titanium for every robot. This one every time you increase the water, so a maximum of three times, will give you plus one water. support for trade routes it's actually a quite nice one too but I think we will go with this one for the uh, land clearance techniques so we don't waste more this was nice we get the uh, public baths instead and see the hospital gives seven and then we got three adjacent ones so that's ten this one would give five plus six and that's eleven However, the hospital is a lot cheaper for us, spending uh, resources we are gaining are faster than the water that we need for expansion. Probably pick up another generator, unless we want to use his specialty there. Let's use the satellite down. I do want to use, yeah, yes, we want to explore all of these. 
a crystal cave here too. And some extra food. And the crystal cave here is, uh, is the same thing as the other one we found. It's a large silicates mine or a natural heritage. The other one was titanium of course. With a mineral cave. And we need to build a, a dike there too. So this one's going to be key to get up and running as a mine I think. So we can build the dikes needed down here. We're saving this one for for the next one. We haven't picked anything there yet. Oh, we wanted to see if we got science spent. Yeah, it looks like uh, exporting science actually gives us points towards uh, towards winning the scenario, which is good. And we need to go exploring, of course. And let's put down the research center first, I think. We don't need the support right now. This should give us, well, to give us next turn we will start getting more cards. So we'll get two extra projects proposed. We could build a second laboratory just to really boost up this science. And we have the resources for it and we're not using those resources for anything else. So this is a very good science quadrant at the moment. And we'll need them for both of these. And that's five turns until we get this one. We'll probably need to place that one down in between, so that's seven turns. And we've got... Actually it worked out perfectly when we found that extra food. Three more turns until we can put down a city down here. It's going to cost us... We're going to have to spend some power for it. Yes, we can get it down and we want... We want we'll have to clear out some rubble around here too. To build the robot, I will probably clear out this one. Right, and then for the mines we're going to need... Silicates. Oh no, titanium. And more titanium, we're gonna need loads of titanium for... We probably want the agricultural complex here though. I will see when we get around to it. The nitrates... I think we got, yeah, we got a nitrates mine down there and one up here. But if we're gonna be building that one in three turns... And we get another recharge of that in three turns... So that should work out, but we're going to have to explore one of these with Gustav. It doesn't really matter which one, they're both four. Alright, so here come the rising expectations. Minus 12 support. And now we get loads of... Well, we got two, two extra cards to pick from. This one was quite nice too. Get another robot that kind of works like a house as well. Um, and we can only pick one. There is a card that makes you so you can pick two of them. I think we want to go with the tuber farm. That way we have it when we place down our city soon. Because we got a fertile square there. And we're gonna. Not gonna be time to build the igloos just yet. And this one would be nice, but we need the titanium for elsewhere, I think. And we need other things to put down than the support. We pick up the tuber farm there. And this uh, this one we should be able to get with the research satellites once it's time. Let's make sure that we get the... Oh, that's just that's next turn, right? And this one is two turns. Alright, so we got the water and the food. We can place that down next turn. Which means... when he's leaving us next turn as well. Yeah, let's go... Explore there. 
got some extra food and that means we can actually place down the city right now uh, let's uh, check what we have down here Helipontus I think we just call it Hellas and uh, teal is okay and we want to and this is uh, because we're in a lava tube, of course, we got for radiation protection. That's why we get four plus four support per turn for this. So we'll put the headquarters down there. We don't have to put down the tuber farm right now. We will spend the power to remove this rock and place down the robot hub there. We're just going to have the one farm here in the city, I think. And we don't have enough titanium to expand out to either of these at the moment. Or to make use of the expansion there. Alright, so we need to go hunting for titanium. And we get the election year. Gustav is leaving us. And we can get uh, Misha. Who is good at spreading bacteria. We're not read at that point just yet. The alternative would be Lena, who's gives us some extra support. I think we will go with Misha, but let's check what we have to work with. So this one would be nice to pick up. Don't need the university got our baseline science production or science income a composting facility would be a nice source of nitrates once we start getting population or a habitation module all right maybe this would be a good place to use Gustav's other special ability there since we don't have the uh, power to really do anything else do need the nitrates though. I think this one is. That one's two now. Just to get that tuber farm down. Ah, that's probably worth it. And that one gives two food, so we double our food income from that. We will uh, we'll go with uh, Misha. And because we don't have any power now, there's probably a good, uh, quite good time to get these life forms up and running. Do we want the robotics? Oh, we should have gotten this one, of course, before we put the robots down here. Oh well. Would have been nice to get that extra titanium refund. Since now we need titanium, so we probably need to look into how we're going to expand up into the titanium mine up here. And probably best, no, that's three to get up there. This one's so far away, it's going to be a penalty. Might be able to go there though. Should get the uh, satellites next time, we can check that location out. Might be faster to expand question is if we want to pick up the habitation modules or the development center. We've got quite a lot of things to spend our science on the next few turns. Don't have anywhere with three population. And let's, uh, let's grab the habitation module just so we have something. Alright. This one would be a decent pick for the high altitude location. Windmills up. We're gonna pass through this one if we go that way. Soil factory would be nice to start boosting up the food, per, food production in. Oh, I spelt that horribly, haven't I? I think 
it's just one R. Oh, well, we'll, we'll run with it. Okay, so we got our research satellites. That pop up there. We got a lava tube. That's very good. And we actually got some other things that we need as well. Okay, so we need to work on making this one useful. This is going to require a lot of power that we don't have. And we can't get anywhere from there either. But we can get there. We probably want to start importing power instead. We don't have, we're not going to place any robots anytime soon. Don't really have the power here to expand. No, it's, that's the hospital. The hospital we want up here anyway. I'm going to put the hospital down there. Just so we're positive in support again. As we can't genetically modify anything. We don't have anywhere we can actually explore. Everything is too expensive. So let's uh, import a life form. And we get to pick from our... Uh, probably have time to get both of these. So minus one temperature, this one's going to be able to go in both. This one actually has a lower temperature requirement. And we had minus one here. And actually we have zero there. What do we have up in this zone in Arabia? It's zero. Question is if we want to start raising the oxygen levels then. Which one has the faster? That's 13 turns, that's 12 turns. I think oxygen and atmosphere is going to be more helpful to us. And we've got a free bacteria spreader over there too. Alright, we don't want to waste our food on a restaurant district. Rover Exploration Center costs way too much titanium that we need to use for other things. I think maybe the, we'll pick up the soil factory. It'll take us a long time before we're actually able to build it, but I think... And at least we know we have it. Oh, and now we get more bacteria. So we can have a more prestigious bacteria here. But it requires oxygen. And, and so this one could be a good one to once we start getting some oxygen into the atmosphere, we can work our way into those. But this one was even better than the this one. No, oh, this one doesn't do the adjacency bonus. That's another one. Looks similar. Okay, so and the tritium thermal generator would be a good pick here as well. Got housing. Don't need the gas factory. Robotop would be actually very useful once we expand out to this location. It's the same thing. We need loads of titanium. Do we want to pick this one up? This one's going to be easier to construct, I think. This one's going to help meet our needed needs, needs more. Let's pick that one up. All right, then we need to start exploring up here. Get some titanium. And the nitrates that we need. probably gonna have to wait for the research satellites for both of these and we don't have the science this turn for the bacteria spreader so we'll place that out next turn all right don't want to spend our titanium on that a landing pad would be nice and we can import more resources from our science output and I think 
maybe we just want to go here for the bacteria spreader at the moment. So we can get started on introducing atmosphere to the planet. I think we want to spend these two expansions for the rich soil and the crystal cave here. And that also means we don't have an expansion for the spaceport just yet. It's going to take us a bit of time to get this one online. So we'll have the habitation module set up down here first. And, to, and, we'll, yeah, and then once we have the... Maybe we'll pick up the... No, we couldn't have the cultured meat lab was last turn. Alright, so we want to go with... We're going to save that for another food, food building. New techs. Well, let's, let's go with the landing pad. We're going to get the second expansion from here soon enough. We can build it here until we get something better to have up there. Let's uh, get out there and let's put the bacteria spreader down. Means so we can start spreading our life. And spread it in the same region as the spreader first. Makes it recharge quicker. We have three power, that's not enough to explore up there. And we need to start collecting titanium. That should just be two away. So we can start building the mines as soon as possible. Alright, so we found some extra silicates. need some either robots or population to go into the lava tube so we can expand out to the mineral cave. And we'll see what we get now. The photovoltaic field is nice. It's not that much comfort of living. And food. This would be good for a high, high population city. don't have the power to build a food factory. And minus one support. And I want fabricated food, do they? Uh, we don't really want to use the marshes since they use titanium. Let's pick the photovoltaic field. And that would be a very good one to put there to increase our power output. Yeah, we really want to get those started as well. Okay, so exploring, we want to go... Doesn't really matter which one we take. And it's going to be another three turns until we can build this city. We can take some extra nitrates and... Some science. Do we want to pick up the science or do we want to go a three? Here we can get some power, a small power refund. We also get some nitrates. And it's a canyon view. It's actually a net increase. So this one's nice. It's quite far away though. And that's in Sabea, which also has a good temperature. So I think we've got a, a good bacteria for the temperature we have. And I, none of these are high. I could probably actually get the uh, landing pad out. We need to save eight for building the titanium mine. We also need power there. Would have been nice to be able to use this one instead. Question is if we want to do that next turn. To delay this one though. We're probably better off saving up the the power for here. And this is another one with the three sets of three clusters. This could probably be a decent population city. 
if we have uh, two central hub buildings and we can have six population at least and still use a little bit else there wasn't any any other kinds of uh, special tiles in here Got the high plateau there too. Right, we really need those robots. Let's get the spaceport up and running here then I think. We don't have the water to build an agricultural complex, which I think is gonna be the best thing to put down there. Since we have we have the we have two nitrate deposits down here. And another one here close to this city. So we've got nitrates, or plenty of nitrates, that's going to be nice. Okay, so we need to start saving up the power for the mine. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this landing pad up and running. That means we can have another export. Can put that one down into the new city as well next turn i think let's uh, export some more of some of our silicates we're not using them for anything other than the photovoltaic fields that we can't place just yet and we got an android hub android hub will be useful i think that's probably the most useful here i would really like to pick this one up Android Hub will allow us to expand out to three locations here and build the mines as soon as we have the titanium. It also means that we do need to locate more titanium at the same time as getting more power. We do have enough to put the city down here though. I'm going to put the... Uh, Oh yeah, we need to explore one more location, so it's another two turns. And that means we're going to get three, so it's 13. We need eight for this one. Android Hub also costs loads of power. And that speaks against the Android Hub, of course. Instead, we could pick up an extra habitation module and try to expand the city faster. We can build the cultured meat lab this turn though. And that increases the food production. So we'll put that one down there and we can have the soil factory in the middle. And that means we'll be up to six food per turn here. And we want to expand out towards that photovoltaic field. Let's put down the habitation module here. Oh yeah, we need to actually expand there first. We'll put the photovoltaic field up. That's another two power per turn. And that puts us in a good spot for power at the moment. We're going to need eight for this one. And four here. Another four or eight there, depending on what kind of mine that is. Can we put the thermal generator down here? Actually, it could be worth clearing out one of these. It'll take three turns to repay itself. And we're getting enough from the other location. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do it. We get the tritium up here. And see. I think we might want to save the rest of the power though. This one would be good as well. We could genetically modify the this one that we are using. I wonder what these two ones mean. Maybe that we have have it somewhere and we don't have this one. Don't know. Let's reduce the time of this one. That means it's now 11 turns instead of 13. 
would be able to spread it out faster. And I picked that one because it gives us two points into two different things. And both of these of course give quality of or comfort of living once they start increasing. That's pretty good. We have the oh we've got the robot hub here too. And this is cheaper than an Android hub. And it would be good when we actually get that city up and running. And yeah, that one would be nice too, of course. We're gonna need more comfortable living soon. Let's pick up the Android hub. It's gonna be immediately useful once we settle down here. to increase the food now I think it gives us uh, three turns if we can find an extra food somewhere along the line and we still need another turn for the exploration in that time we will gain we don't have the titanium uh, titanium is what's blocking us at the moment we can explore though for a little bit more. Could probably explore this one as well. But we get that from the uh, from the satellites next turn. Okay, so those are three. That one's three. This one's a lot of titanium. Let's grab that one. And we got some food. That was a very good find. And saves us probably three turns here actually. Now we're making. We need 12. We're making. Let's pull that one down a notch. So we can have the extra power because we're going to need a lot of power too for all these mines. And to keep exploring. Alright, so. Our mine was damaged by a sandstorm. And it's gonna be out of action for four turns. It's gonna cost us a lot of support. Do we need the tritanium right now? Not really. But we do need the titanium. So we're going to be able to build this city next turn. Let's explore this location. Got some silicate, some water. And that was a small mine. We're going to be able to expand out to two of these at least. And then we can expand out towards the silicates mine here. And we'll have an income of everything at least. And we're going to need six to get the expansions, eight here and another four here. And that's 18 power we need, preferably next turn. And we also need 12. So if we import, no, we can't import any more power either. But we can do this and we get some power back and titanium back. From building this one, this essentially means that this one costs four power for titanium. Now let's uh, get the improved robotics, and that I think means that we can repair this one right now. We we'll pay the power and titanium cost. Yes, yeah, so we get rid of the uh, support modules there. And should we grab another life form and save the power? We need four to put that one down and that will give us 10 left to build one of the mines. Yeah, we don't have enough. We would have had enough if I hadn't repaired this one. I can actually refer to repairing that one. Yeah, that's fine. And we will import another life form. 
Right, so we get the Alpine Forest. It's going to be way ahead of time before we can get any of those. Or we can get the Metallidurans, and we need to increase temperature. This was also quite nice. Let's uh, pick that one up. We might use it in one of the cities later on. Uh, so we need to have one temperature, so we need to increase the temperature. And we don't have any anyone who does that. We might want to find try to find the bacteria that can do that. Or we'll have to build heat factories. Alright, so next turn we can expand there. Did we pick anything here? No. The modular apartments are good if you have several of them. Oh, here we have the solution for the heat. Uh, giant space mirrors. And we have the space hotels. We do need our titanium and food for other things, so that gives support per turn, so that's nice. No, we're not going to use that one. Greenhouse farm would be nice, but we don't really have anywhere to put it right now. But we do have the water in excess. Let's grab the... I think we'll grab the giant space mirrors. And this turn we do need to get it all. But next turn we can start putting points into this. Alright, so we've got rising expectations this turn as well. The oxygen factory could be useful. Planetary engineering lab would be useful. To get that science income up. Habitation modules, of course, going to be a little while before we can put them down. Let's save that for a bit. We actually got the road paver depot too, so we could expand out to all three of these with that one. Gives us three expansions, but no robots. And the robots give us a little bit of science if we get more of them. Three of them, and this is... Uh, that was a robot hub, not the android hub. This one gives us two, so that means we're a little bit closer. When I found the city. And we will, I think, just start off. Doesn't really matter where we start off. We'll pick there. That means we can use this slot for the robot hub. We will then move it over here once we put up the expansions. And that means we can expand towards the mineral cave. And we will... While this would be very nice, we really need that titanium. Let's get that mine online. And expand down towards the nitrates. We don't have the titanium to get that online. And we need... Need the power as well. to explore outwards there's no titanium anywhere up there yeah there is up there that's two power and this one's three power to explore but now we're actually getting the titanium in every turn that's two turns until we can build this one and nitrates isn't the thing we need the most at the moment so we can delay that one just a little bit and use our power for something else we got the bacteria for the oxygen and atmosphere, so we're not going to pick that up. Habitation module would be six turns of plus five. And we can start exporting the silicates. And landing pad would be nice to have as well. And the road pavers depot. Could get the road paver to connect up these. And there's going to be another water silicates, loads of silicate mines up here. And it's probably better to try and get these from population or robots though. Right, let's pick up the planetary engineering lab. We can have three proje space projects up here waiting. Don't need to import food at the moment. I think we will start 
let's uh, clear all of this out and let's start which one do we want to complete first heat doesn't do anything for us in the immediate I think this one does and this one of course helps us with the getting more science and then we want to go exploring I think we will pick the pick this one and we get some extra support as well I found another lava tube another good lava tube there's no haven't found any special features other than the other than the one fertile soil here That could be something to expand outwards there as well. Haven't picked anything. Yes, we have. Let's go on to the next turn. Marsnet is really good. Extra school. Airborne wind turbine. It costs loads of titanium, which we are now getting. We're not really past the crunch just yet on it. Let's uh, keep those for a little bit. Right, so we probably want to get the nitrates farm up and running. Or nitrates mine, not farm, of course. And now we want to get the silicates up next. And that's going to be three turns. We can't export silicates for three turns. We could get one of these, get the Mars net up. One comfort of living gives us one support for every population we have, of course. And not that we have that much comfort at the or so population at the moment. Don't think we've got anywhere to really put the farm at the moment either. Extra research projects would be nice. And extra power would be nice. But we don't have any... Yeah, that would be a good place for the, those. But we need the, we need the mine up, so... Let's put the... Let's take Marsnet. That means we can put science into... I can reduce that one and we can start putting science into the Mars net. And we could I want to pick another one. Or we can go exploring. Let's try to find some titanium. And to help speed up the acquisition of the the silicates mine. Let's see what new leaders we get if we want to choose a second or a third life form as well. All right, so we got Aisha. Removing rock provides titanium. Now this one is nice. Or we can increase power production for every six new power. A free drone hub would be nice. And applied research. Here we can get. Uh, Silicates conversion into loads of titanium. And we can get the free sewage treatment plant. That's uh, only useful for high population cities. And the, the titanium ones there are really alluring, but I think the free drone hubs is probably better off for where we are in the game right now. And I think that's more worth it than an extra life form. Uh, not gonna be incinerating any waste, I think. CO2 factory. Well, we're getting the heat from the space project there in a bit. We're living in mostly in lava tubes. Eclos aren't needed. The, uh, the city is more or less finished. We're just waiting for the nitrates. And we've got the exploration satellites too. 
Should be able to go up there and explore. Oh my god, loads of titanium. This means we can build our mine down here. No, we can't. We need power. Alright, so next turn we will have the power to build the mines down here. Um, let's see what we want to pick here. And then I'm going to finish up this turn and then we'll make a cut. Probably pick the greenhouse farm, I don't think anything else really makes sense at the moment. Yeah. And we can... don't really want to spend our power. We could build a free drone hub. It's not free to build the drone hub down here because we need to clear rubble. And down here we also need to clear a rubble. If we revert researching the greenhouse farm, we can uh, select from three more. Oh, we got a dome park, that's nice. Well, it's going to be a long time until we can build it, but let's pick that one up. That is uh, probably the, the best of the uh, support boosting buildings. Alright, so uh, next turn we will our next episode we will press the turn button and uh, until then thank you for watching take care